Corey Swan, Mark Costello Company Service Manager. Today we're going to demonstrate how to run the Mark Costello Sterilizer. This particular sterilizer has a dual mode controller. It will do full condensing vacuum, it will do gravity assist and gravity modes all at a touch of button. For this particular demonstration we're going to show it in gravity assist mode. Now, Whenever you're operating a Marcosella sterilizer, you want to make sure you have a good pair of safety glasses. You would like to cover your face with a mask, not just for the COVID virus, but because you don't know what you're going to be moving around in your load. You always want to have gloves, heat gloves especially, to protect your hands. The carts are going to be hot. The trash is going to be hot when it comes out of the sterilizer. So safety is a must around here. You want to stay covered as much as possible. Okay, moving on to the sterilizer. The first thing you're going to want to do is have your door open. Okay, Okay. step one. Now that you've got your, you're ready to load your sterilizer, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the emergency stop is off. Then you're going to want to push your hydraulics. If that doesn't work, this is very common, you're going to want to lift the safety mechanism. The hydraulics will not start until that handle is up. And I want to point out that that safety mechanism, you cannot turn on the sterilizer and introduce any steam to the chamber while this handle is up for your safety. This tube on top is a vent. And if there is still steam inside the vessel when you open the door, you will see it and hear it coming out of the top of that tube. And that tells you to wait until the steam is dissipated before opening the door. So now back to opening the door. Our safety mechanism is open. We're going to push the run button to start the hydraulics. If this is a double door vessel, you're going to want to have the handles up on both ends and the motors will start at both ends. Once the hydraulics are running, first thing you're going to want to look for the operator that says ring. They will all be tagged in this location and you will pull it to unlock the ring. And you just pull it until it stops. It may squeal, it's not going to hurt anything. Now that it's stopped, you'll look for the next handle, which will say swing. That is for the door to swing open or close. Again, pull it, and that will open the ring. Once that's done, you'll look for the third one that says lift. You will pull on it to raise the lift into position so the cart can be pushed into the sterilizer or removed depending on which end you're working with. Now this is the operator for this particular vessel. As you can see, he's wearing his safety glasses to prevent anything from getting into his eyes. He's wearing his mask and he's wearing his hot gloves. Now the first thing he's going to do before he loads this cart, as you can see, it's already full of the material going to be processed. Now he wants to raise the bag over the sides of the cart. You don't want to leave it draped over the cart. It will get hot it will melt on and it will stick in place. So once he is satisfied that it's all in place, he's going to want to push it in. Now, you can see there's a cart inside the sterilizer. That cart is full process along with others in there. When he pushes this cart in, it's going to push all the carts in there one at a time we'll, that he pushes in. will push out one cart at a time. Now that the cart is loaded, he will repeat until he's got all the processed carts out and all the new carts in and then close the door. Now that your last cart is loaded in, you're going to want to start your hydraulics. You're going to want to lower the lift, push up to lower, push the center handle up to close the door. Push the last handle up to close the ring. Once it's done, you'll just close the handle. That'll shut off the hydraulics pump. I'd like to point out on the hydraulics. Now, you can't see this in the program, but there is an adjustable timer. These hydraulics can be set to turn off automatic at a set time. This will keep you from over heating your hydraulic pump and possibly damaging it. Now, once your sterilizer is completely loaded and you're ready to process load, everything on your information is already programmed in, so you merely need to go to the start key.
turn it and as you can see the screen will show you're starting a cycle. The pump will come on, water will start flowing, steam will start flowing in its prescribed order. Now when your vessel is started it's going to start a vacuum pump. This is a typical vacuum pump for most sterilizers. They range in sizes. This one happens to be a 20 horse pump. When it pulls the vacuum it's going to suck into this line into the heat exchanger from the sterilizer. This is a heat exchanger, it's going to go through it, anything that's hot is going to get cooled and go into the vacuum pump down here. At the same time you're going to have incoming water going into the heat exchanger to cool anything in here hot which has a sensor for temperature on it. You will also be feeding water into the pump for service water. This is a sump pump and it's going to fling the water around creating a vacuum so you need to have water inside. Should you have any problems with paraffin wax inside your sterilizer, it's not supposed to go in there but it does get in. We have used a heat exchanger that you can disassemble to clean easily in about an hour or two hours. Now, once everything is drawn through, it's going to go to a separator, which is going to separate the liquid, which will go to your drain, and the air, which will go up through the ceiling and exhaust. Now that the load has finished, we're going to show you how to unload it and what to do with it once you get it unloaded. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure your handle is up. Then you're going to want to go back and start your hydraulics pumps. Once it's started, same thing as you did before, but in reverse. We're going to unlock the ring. And just take it till it stops. You won't hurt anything. Everything has got safeties on it. You're going to swing open your door. And you're going to raise up your lift. And you're going to want to make sure sometimes when they're new, the bridges don't fall down. They sometimes take a while to loosen up. Then when they push through the cart, in the new cart, out will come the old cart. You will be able to retrieve that cart and take it over to your dumper where we'll show you how to dump it. Making sure it's all the way in so it can't fall out. Now he's going to step over to the controller and he's going to check to make sure the safety stop is out. Turn the key to start it and pull the lever down to raise it up and dump it. Once, once he has reached the top and satisfied everything has fallen out of the container, he can now bring it down, remove it, and load the next container. Now that he has finished dumping the cart, he can go over to the compactor, pull the emergency stop, turn the key to the right, and push it in. Once he hears the compactor has started moving, he can walk away and retrieve the next cart.